Good morning. It's Monday morning and uh, we're back on the sprayer this morning. It's going to spray a bit of uh, spring barley with its uh, T1 fungicides and uh, herbicides in. We're just filled up, so we're off. Yeah, we're back in the spring barley. <coughs> this is one of our light, real light landfills. Um, in their wisdom, angry water <laughs> decided to put a new pipeline through in the middle of it. Uh, they reinstated it, but they cut through some of our land drains. So uh, it's been, it was too wet to drill. We're waiting for them to come to to repair it. So I want to uh, do it while it's dry because it's a bad field of springs in this one, and uh, it can get real wet in places. The mills in the background there, and the pumping house station for the line. Here's where it was wet when we was drilling it's dried a bit now because we couldn't drill it, so uh, we'll uh, just tiptoe across it very slowly, spraying, and it should all kill this rubbish. Keep it tidy a bit anyway. Look at this mess. Bloody fly tippers. We're at the side of the main road here. Somebody's coming over the weekend. Dump this on our margin. Cannabis. It's from a cannabis farm, some of that. All oh, that's the chopped plants and that. We should be looking for an address. Yeah, there's the ducting for the heat. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. We get a lot of this round here. Yeah. Look in that bag. That's what they grow the cannabis plants in. It's a mixture of peaty soil, a fertilizer, nutrition to get them going. Absolutely terrible. We'll uh, be informing the police about this. Anyway, that's what I can do now, so we'll crack on. Get a bit more spraying done. The wheat straw's a bit short this year. We've had drought on our land and uh, no wheat's been under stress. It's not very tall at all. It's coming out in here. It'll get a little bit higher when the year gets fully through and out on top. But, uh, it, uh, it's only up to, to my kneecap at the minute. going he's going to spread a bit of uh, nitrogen on spring barley as to our other farms just to give it its final top up so, nice day for it anyway
running repairs. Leaking spool block. So, we'll have to fix it. Leaking a lot of oil. I'll just show you around one of our mainline tractors, Fent 939. Yeah, that old beast, a Fent 939. Excellent tractor. Very old grip on it. So we can let the tyres down. It does a lot of top work besides doing a lot of heavy cultivations. It treads really lightly. We'll let the tyres down to about 0.6 of a bar. For doing any top work, we'll roll with it. We'll pull the SLD with it plow with it it's a really good old round tractor seven ten tires on it it only weighs ten point five or six tons when it's uh, unballasted without any weight on then we've got wheel weights ballast it up and then with a big front weight on it, which we have over there, 1800 kg, that on it, we get to about 15 and a half, 16 tonnes. So it's ideal for, for heavy draft work then. Yeah. We've got the low loader on, we're just going around, we're going to load the digger up, and then uh, we're off on a bit of a road trip with it tomorrow. So. Yep, we're all loaded on, all chained down tight. Just check that to that side. <coughs> yeah, twitch more. It's settled. We've arrived. Unloaded. Today's job. Set the bottom out of the dike. And uh, put a bridge in where that stone is. Pipe it in and put a bridge in. Job done. Dying semi dug out. New bridge all put in. About four metres wide. Load up. Yeah, it's all uh, part of the varied uh, work we do. Yeah, a bit of variation. First job this morning is we're going to take some water down to Risby Warren to uh, fill the water tank up that uh, supplies the wild horses with water because the tank's about empty. We might even get to see the horses. Yeah, we're on to come on to Risby Warren now. We'll make our way around the, the tracks to the water tank. I think I've spotted the horses in the distance. I'll show you them a little and get a bit nearer to them. Here they are, the Exmoor ponies. I told you wrong in the first video, they're not New Forest, they're Exmoor. I got told off for that. But 
water and they're all just wondering what I'm doing just having a lay down in the sand hills they just want wander, they wander freely around this 300 acre site in the trees for shelter in winter and eating the coarse grass so we don't have to feed them just have to supply a bit of water in summer and that's a favorite place of theirs the sand hill they like uh, to sunbathe in there it's like being on uh, a beach they're not bothered by me keep looking away Here's the water tank that uh, we fill. It's blended into the uh, landscape with grass over the top of it, it's on a hill. And this, what there is, is a small pipe and it uh, goes down to a, a water trough at the bottom with a ball cock in it. So it's just natural feed under gravity and just keeps horses supplied. As you can see, there's, there's tracks all round. They always make the way here for water when they're thirsty and need a drink. In the midst of winter, there's a lot of um, lakes and that form in parts of the Warren and the drink water from these rather than the trough. So uh, they don't actually, we don't have to fill this up in winter, but in summer, of course, they're all uh, dried up. So we have to, supply them with water yeah. there's odd sheep on here there's a few sheep I think yep there's one sat there looking at me thinking what on earth is he doing but, uh, it's a great place this yep really nice in summer Well, it's a quick update on the uh, landscaping. As you maybe see, we're, we're getting there. Starting to level out now. Not a lot left. Anyway, soon be done. Right, well, that's it for this week on uh, Video Diary on the Farm. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please, if you have, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And. Uh, hit that bell button and then you'll get notified uh, when the next one's released.